Hello friends, Doug Fink, 16-time Microsoft MVP, and today we're going to take a look at a new extension for Visual Studio Code, and we're going to, it connects Mermaid with AI, and we're going to explore in Copilot a chat-powered diagram generation. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, notification bell, and I put out lots of videos like this. Let's do it. Okay, so first up, you can install the VS Code extension, lots of different ways. I'll let you figure that out. Do that and you'll see some animation here, what it can do. It can create things like sequence diagrams, UML diagrams, um, and it can do some iteration kind of things. And there's other stuff you can do because it's AI based. That's what I'm gonna walk through. So what I've done here is just created it in org chart.txt and I just randomly typed in names and I did my own indentation so that I'm looking at this text file and I can use the indentation as a way to uh, group from myself uh, who's the CEO, CTO, who reports into Jim, who reports into Jane, so on and so forth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the chat, okay, and I want to use the new mermaid agent so I can type it in at sign and I can type in mermaid and you can see there's a, a mermaid it can do a slash help and iterate sequence and UML if I select the slash help it comes up and tells me I can go to the website to check out how mermaid works and it tells me about the available commands so what it doesn't have is uh, something called an org chart but that's not not a problem because this is artificial intelligence this is generative AI so down here in mermaid I'm just say org chart and press enter and see what we get off it goes it grabs the reference the dot text and it did a bunch of things and it gave me an org chart so it took what was in that text file and we can see the CEO CFO um, and the other direct reports and it does a nice little chart. Now what's really cool about this is uh, I can come down here to chat again on the bottom left, hit the up arrow, get the org chart again, and I know a little bit about mermaid syntax and I want to do instead of a top to bottom, I want to do a left to right. Now, yes, you have to know a little bit about mermaid syntax, but that's not a big deal, I don't think. You can check that out. So now, even though when I type in the at sign mermaid and I only get a few different options, I can, because it's a mermaid, I can begin to explore more things within the mermaid diagramming capabilities. I have a nice left to right uh, diagram of my uh, org chart. And what's really cool is this works with code, right? So in this case, if this is a Java program and it's got classes and you can get a UML diagram out of it as we saw that there's a, uh, a, a switch called backslash UML you can get a sequence diagram and I'll be doing another video on that so stay tuned thanks for watching stay curious